Marsh. Elsie had gone to play tennis with Uncle CJ. And Grandpa was with me, painting Gordon. Oh, he'll be as clean as a whistle after this coat of paint, Josh. Be like flying on a brand new seagull. Don't even think about it, Grandpa. <laughs> Great Aunt Loretta was in the kitchen with Auntie Jules. You better stay here, Mr. Beetle Branch. Don't want you getting sucked up when I'm muck sucking. Great Aunt Loretta was helping today, as a very important guest was staying. Suck up the muck, suck up the muck. The very important guest was Lady Prigsbottom. She'd come to stay because the builders were doing up her big pot house. Golly! <laughs> Tandy <Tandy> Bay! <laughs> You haven't half brought some lovely stuff with you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, look at all your bits and bobs. Ooh. They're not bits and bobs. They're priceless antiques and I brought them to keep them safe. Ah, they'll be safe as houses here with us. <laughs> now don't mind me while I give you a bit of a going over. <laughs> mind you, <please. laughs> Lady Prigsbottom came and sat with me, Grandpa and Wolfie. I don't know how you put up with Loretta, I really don't. Oh, our heart's in the right place. Finished! All spick and span, Lady P. <laughs> it's Lady Prigsbottom, not Lady P. Great Aunt Loretta was polishing Auntie Jules's silver seaside ornaments. Oh, you're my favourite, you are. There we are, bright and shiny as a new pin. Disaster! Disaster! There's been a disaster! Disaster? What disaster? A precious piece of jewellery has gone! Gone? gone? My diamond necklace is worth millions, millions, I tell you! Yes, today we are going to solve the mystery of the missing millions! You! You were in there last. Where is it? You didn't touch it. Thief! Me? The thief? You calling me a thief? I won't stand for it. She was the last in there. She's taken the necklace. It's obvious. Come now, Loretta may be many things, but she's no thief. I'm going downstairs to talk to Jules. I don't know how this happened, Josh, but I'm going to find out. And the best way for me to catch a thief is if I'm small. Not the shrinking cat, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. Now, when Grandpa shrinks, he can run so fast you can't catch him. He can fly by helicopter. He can jump about in the Sunny Sands train. He can hide in really tiny places where you can't find him. And today was one of those days. Where have you gone, Grandpa? I'm here. <laughs> Quick, take me to Lady P's room. If the thief comes back, I'll catch him. Meanwhile, in the kitchen... Well, it's so it's hard. Hard. Shifty eyes! No, there's nothing shifty about that. Calm down. Oh. Now, just calm down. <laughs> I'm going to the... Great Aunt Loretta can't say the word toilet out loud because she thinks it's rude. Have you know I'm perfectly calm, but I will not remain here a moment longer if there's a thief in the house. I'm packing up and leaving. Wait! Lady Prigsbottom! I'd just put Grandpa into Lady Prigsbottom's room when she came steaming back upstairs. Oh, no. Please! Don't try and stop me. I'm off. Oh, please don't be off. Loretta's upset. You're upset. I suppose Grandpa's gone for a little lie down. I don't blame him. Oh, please, Lady Prigsbottom. I put Grandpa in the vase on the dressing table. Lady Prigsbottom was packing. She was about to see him. But he ducked down just in time. She was in such a hurry that she accidentally did this. She packed the vase. The vase that had Grandpa in it. Lady Prigsbottom, I'm, I'm sure we'll solve the mystery. No, I am not staying in a house with thieves and robbers. Auntie Jules gave up and Grandpa tried to escape. But then this happened. Just in time, Grandpa managed to scramble out of the suitcase. He jumped onto the floor and ran out of the door. 
It's no good. She's leaving. I can't persuade her. Just then, Grandpa ran in, and I was really pleased to see him. Grandpa, did you catch the thief? No, nobody came in. I picked him up, put him in my pocket, and we went downstairs to see what was the matter. It's gone! My lovely shiny beetle brooch, it's gone! I only went to the toilet and it's gone! Oh, I don't believe it, Loretta. Who could have taken it? While Auntie Jules and Great Aunt Loretta looked for the shiny beetle brooch, I put Grandpa down. Go and tell Lady P that someone else has had something taken. So off I went, and Grandpa jumped down onto the floor and made his way to Upsy Downsy without being seen. He pressed the button, and up he went. He arrived upstairs just as I did, and Lady Prigsbottom was leaving. Uh, Lady Prigsbottom, you're not the only one. Great Aunt Loretta's had something taken too. Her precious shiny beetle brooch. Her beetle brooch? She's not making it up. No. Lady Prigs Bottom, we all want to get to the bottom of this mystery. There has to be an explanation. <gasps> oh no! Well, what's happening here? All my silver seaside ornaments all over the floor. What's the matter? Then she saw that one was missing. The little silver lighthouse. It's gone. Gone? gone? My necklace, your brooch, her lighthouse. I think we ought to all go downstairs, have a cup of tea and keep calm. There has to be an answer. So they all went downstairs together. And just then, I heard Grandpa calling me. Josh, I'm going to hide in here to see if the thief comes back for another ornament. You wait outside. I'll call you. Grandpa jumped out of Upsy Downsy and climbed up and up and up as high as he could to get a really good view of the thief. And sure enough, the thief came back. It flew right in through the window, grabbed a silver shell off the table, flew right out again. A bongle bird. I might have known. Josh! I rushed back in. It's a bongle bird. And you know how bongle birds like shiny things. I'm going after it. Right. Grandpa jumped down and ran out onto the balcony. Then he jumped onto Gordon and flew off to the meadow. I ran after him. <laughs> The bongle bird was sitting in the nest in the big nut tree. And when he saw Gordon flying towards him, he did this. And Grandpa landed in the nest. It's here, Josh. It's all here. We found the missing millions. Grandpa was just about to pass all the shiny things to me when the bongle bird went. And the bongle bird screeching brought the others running into What's the meadow. On? It's the bongle bird. Yes. And when the bongle bird heard this, he took off and oh. flew away. Oh, and there's his nest. Oh. oh, Josh. Did you frighten him out of his nest with Gordon? However, did you get him up so high? Good throw. And it's my guess that the missing millions are in his nest. Auntie Jules was sure to find Grandpa. First, she handed me Gordon. Then, she put her hand in the nest and... Your necklace, Lady Prigsbottom. <laughs> Silver shiny beetle oh. brooch, Loretta. Oh. And the little lighthouse. Oh! And the shell! Oh. Anything else? She was about to oh. see Grandpa. Just a bit of bongle bird shell. I'll show you. I guessed Grandpa was hiding in the eggshell. Never touch a bongle bird egg. Really unlucky. Oh, we've had enough bad luck for one day. Quite. Uh, Louetta, uh, I'm sorry I called you a robber. And I'm glad you got your shiny beetle brooch back. It must be an old favourite. Come along. Let's all go inside and celebrate. 
Why not? I just had one more thing to do. Jump, Grandpa. I put him down on the grass. Cut off quick. He came back to his normal size. Well done, Josh. I think we deserve to celebrate too, don't you? Of course. We did a great job. Teamwork, eh? Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least Lady P has calmed down and gone to unpack. Green gloop, Loretta. Yep. Oh, been for a little lie down, have we, Grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> well, we solved the mystery without you. Mm. Where were you when I needed help? Oh, I just went for some fresh air. And how was it? Excellent. Excellent.